what is encryption and why it is so important uh, and why it has been so important for years and ages and has kept on evolving with time. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And it goes back, I mean, it literally goes back thousands of years, going back to the Roman times and even before then, you know, and it was used for military operations originally, a lot of it because you want to send messages, you know, from one group to another group and you know, for or from the field to the commanders, etc. And you don't want the enemy to see what you're writing. So if they find the messenger and steal the messages, they open it up and they're like, I don't understand what it says. So they encrypted messages by changing, you know, using cipher keys or, you know, replacing letters or things like that to, so that people couldn't read the message. And that's really what encryption is about is protecting the ability for people to see what you're doing, number one, and two, protecting the ability for them to manipulate or change that message. Because the last thing I want to do, if I'm going back to that military example, if I'm in the field and I'm going to say, I want you to attack this city on this day at this time, and they intercept the message and we're able to change it to a different day or time and let the message continue forward, I'm, I'm in big trouble because now I'm out of sync. Right. So it's not just being able to see the information, but also protecting the integrity of the information. And that's what encryption is all about. And when we talk about the internet, it's all about sending these messages back and forth. Every single thing that we do on the internet is sending messages, communicating with clients, with servers, communicating with each other directly, peer to peer, whatever the case may be, is all about sending data to each other and responding to it. So we want to protect that because in that data, there's a lot of sensitive information, a lot of potentially bad. Like if I'm purchasing something online, the last thing I want somebody to do is get my credit card information. Mm. Or I don't want them to see my healthcare information and see what illnesses or their, their identity theft, all these other things, you know, stealing money, stealing databases. We hear about it all the time in the news. So encryption ultimately can fix all those problems if we implement it correctly. So that's, that's, a, that's what encryption important. is all about. Yes, implementing it correctly. That's a very, very <laughs> important line you have added at the end because we could we could just pick that line and talk for us. Uh, I guess, yes, I totally agree with you. And if you don't, I think Julius Caesar in, started it back in Roman times. I don't know. I don't recall it, but I that guess- That was one of the early ones. Yes, yes, absolutely. And I think in the Second World War, Germans used it a lot. And yes. uh, it was then- uh, I think Alan Turing, uh, he, he, he invented that machine. He decoded that cipher uh, text, which, uh, which eventually helped them, you know, win. Help, some... help them win the war. So yes. being able yes. to crack the encryption and like on the Japanese side, the Americans had cracked the Japanese code without them knowing years before. So the Japanese were sending messages and the Americans were able to, with these huge teams of people, because they didn't have computers back then in the 40s, mm -hmm. to decrypt these messages. And they learned about everything they were doing. And that was a huge advantage from military. So translate that concept to that huge advantage of being able to see and decrypt and inspect that information from military to technology and e-commerce and business and competitive and you know, intellectual property, it's that it's all there. And that's why that's why there are hackers. That's why there are people doing this. And that's why we're on the other side, trying to protect our resources.